Uh, usually when I, when I use the words formation and transformation, I kind of think of tr formation as like the external process. You can't, you can offer someone formation. You can even promise them formation. Mm -hmm. But you don't know if they'll, people will be transformed. Right. Whether you're a therapist, a uh, prophet, pastor, uh, artist, all you can do, shaman, all you can do is take people on a journey mm -hmm. and create a container. And to me, that container is formation. Right. And you can have good or bad containers, suitable or not suitable, ones that are more or less likely to result in transformation, which is where uh, your whole way of being shifts. You know, so uh, that can mean all sorts of things. I like this, the idea from Paulo Freire that any time you see the world accurately, which is you see through the myths and the ideologies and actually perceive someone, like you give them attention fully or perceive the land accurately or you have an encounter of the divine, any time your perception of the world shifts towards what is true and then you simply act in that new vision of the world, you fundamentally, by definition, transform the world. So it doesn't have to be a seismic shift for it to be transformation. It doesn't have to have all the feels. If you simply recognize someone's humanity in a moment when you otherwise wouldn't, you've, by definition, been transformed. Yeah. Can you talk about that a little bit? Well, I mean, this is, to me, the heart of what all the mystics were about. And whether it's uh, an encounter with creation, like the land, or people, or God. It's just, it's an encounter with life, something outside of you. Once that distance collapses, there's, there's a transformation that happens, and that's fundamentally always relational. Mm -hmm. Now, you can have skills that help you do that. It's not purely up to chance, and I know that people like just to chalk that stuff up purely to the spirit as though you're not in the equation at all, but that's not how it works. Um, you can do things to make yourself more available. Mm -hmm. So if you're sitting inside all day on Facebook, the odds of you having a mystical encounter with a homeless man are almost zero. Yeah. So there are ways. But I've also known people who've worked in homeless shelters their whole life who've never really perceived the humanity of their guests. So it's not, it's not purely mechanistic. It's not purely about doing the right things. Mm -hmm. But it's not completely divorced from that either. And so it is a little bit of a, you build the best container you have, you put yourself into it and try to be open and vulnerable. And then, and vulnerability is key, then something can happen. Mm -hmm.